What's up, Dilio? Coming to you with another tutorial video, and this is the my review of the Hype Synth. This is probably the most impactful plugin, and I know I was speaking a lot of praises about the Audius of Synth, but when I heard this plugin in standalone mode, I said this thing sounds like a Korg. It sounds like a Triton. It sounds like a a Roland. It sounds like a workstation. The sounds that are on here. It's pretty intense. Now, I'll be honest, when I first saw it, I was a little confused by all these little shapes and things. I'm like, what are, what are these these shapes on here? Those synthesizers don't have shapes. But then I looked over to the right of it, and as you can see on the screen, you got cutoff, resonance right there, right in front, modulation right there, distortion right there, the master volumes right there, uh, a pumper, you know, side chain right there. I was like, wow, that's pretty convenient if you want to, do that so i'm just going to play some sounds and just 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 listen and, and keep in mind that this all sounds the exact same in standalone mode so you got these sounds So if I don't want that delay, I could probably turn on. So you got some weight, some sampled. Um, I like this so much better than the key groups. The key groups are fun, and they've had a lot of powerful features on the key groups, but always felt like I was reaching for something more sample wise with the key groups uh it does get the job done at the entry level but something like this really enables you to kind of go further but the trade-off with this is that i can't really go under the hood as much as i like to L let's look at that let's go under the hood a little bit so you know you got all these effects that you can turn right off the front value there you got your filter envelope right there amplitude envelope right there uh a little spike sound so you can get kind of a tacky sound there you got one lfo modulation distortion you got sort of like this very pretty eq thing there that that's, that looks a lot of fun very eye-catching there um never seen an eq done like that before and then you got delay block you can you know offset it left and right you can do reverb there you can change the time you got a compressor there you got the pumper you can change the time there now over here on the far right if you want the modulation wheel to work you do have to assign it a certain place and then you have to add some depth and then if you want the modulation to have an lfo on it you do have to apply it there so you can't just go straight lfo to a perimeter you have to route it through the modulation there i felt that's a little limiting on the flexibility in my opinion from a sound designer perspective but that doesn't really render this useless and i like how they got all the the macro blocks for the effects just about on every page uh, it looks like that on the NPC live. Let's check out some more sounds. You can pump it. that filter on it you know that song that everybody has on their YouTube
I mean, so this kind of gives you kind of sounds a little nexusy, but it's usable. Big pad. Crazy sound. And these are just got some good choir sound. Kind of sounds like that M2. Risers. I mean, I like this. You know, so it, you know, I wish that it had more of some ethnic sounds. You know, it it it's really missing like the the ethnic sounds. You know, like uh, just those world sounds that I like to mess with when I want to go kind of left field with my beats. But outside of that, it still has a lot of great sounds in it. And um, it's easy to get lost in the sounds. Like you got bells, you got choirs, uh, you got different types of leads. So here's like a a, a choir. Choir, man, you know, almost it's almost like you know you kind of you kind of feel like you're stepping into like an atmosphere in box, and I just I wanted them to go so much further. Like it's plenty though. I can't say that it's it's not plenty. It's it's plenty of sounds. Like it, it really is plenty of sounds. Like you can't even like you want to mess with some brass. You got your your marcato strings, you know. Mellotron. Got them already pumping, already side chain out the box. Brass. A little bit of that in there. So it's like, I mean, it could totally go, it can go further. Like, I, I hear where it's going sonically, and it's like, it's very, very in-depth, but it's like, it can like just go a little bit further. But that does not discredit or, or marginalize, in my opinion, how good it sounds. It has a lot of good, good sounds in there. Uh, I stumbled on some really dope sounds. I don't know where they went. Uh, you know, it is just, you know, just same stuff I always play. And, and what you're seeing is a plugin right here. I mean, you can edit the plugin and pop it out, but because this is like a in-house plugin, it, it shows up right there. And it also corresponds on the screen very easily. <laughs> Moving sound. I mean, it goes on and on. So there's a lot of great sounds on this thing. Uh, that's just a little bit of taste of what this thing can do. 
And once again, the amazing thing is that this all happens inside of the box, away from the computer. You could take these great sounds and take them to the stage. You could take them to the studio. You can keep them at home. You can run them through separate audio interfaces, you know, or not separate. Let me back back a little bit. You can run them through separate audio interfaces and they are and they're good to go. It's just such a capable box right now that you're going to spend a lot of time just really just using the stock sounds. And, you know, any any platform and you can let me know what you think about this in the comments. I think that in any platform, the sounds and plugins that come with the platform you're using. So in essence, like the Ableton, they have their own set of plugins and then machine has their own set of plugins and then akai is starting to grow their library of plugins and i'm like what's next because if y'all doing this and all that matter all, all there is is just for you guys to code it and build it and then install it in into a firmware update um what's next and that's what i like about this um is the fact that these plugins are firmware updates and there is a little bit of installation. You do got to add some sample content. Uh, you got to put it on a secure digital drive. But, I mean, we got a lot of space. There's Secure digital drives are are gigabytes now. You know, so there's there's space. We got we got space. So to add that feature functionality is just really cool. So I really enjoy this plugin. It's one of my favorite. It's right there. Sometimes, sometimes the Odyssey is my favorite new plugin that comes built in the box. But then when I need to go further than where I can go with the Odyssey, the high plugin steps right in and fills in the gap. And it's awesome. So I hope you like this review. I'm out.